Hello everybody, Grace Steel Plays, and we're back with more of the Long Dark on the Interloper mode, no time for BS! And we have our Halloween special here. I've got a little bit more of our condition back. I had to sleep for a little bit, because there was a giant storm outside, so I figured I would eat a little bit and just gain a couple more percents back. A couple of flurries out here right now. We are going to... How do I don't want to do this? Starting a flurry outside. Okay, we're gonna do this by the numbers, boys. I'm going to follow this pathway back to the train tracks rather than try and take a shortcut. And once we get back to the train tracks, we're gonna make a beeline straight for the... straight for the camp office. That's what we need. We need to get to the camp office big time. I'm really hoping for some epic loot there as well. A couple of my buddies have gotten really lucky. They found some really cool stuff. Like, uh, I think someone had found a pie. Some sort of pie that gave them, like, I don't know, like a bunch of calories. And then it also is, like, warm. And I think it keeps the wildlife away. We are very, very weighed down right now. Just because we've got some reclaimed wood on us. We have a lot of stuff on us right now. And as soon as we get to the camp office, my plan is to just unload all this shit so that we don't have so much weight that we're carrying around. The darkness, eh, it's dark, but it's not terrible. I can see through it. My biggest issue is whether or not the... Oh my god. Whether or not this weather is going to play along. That's kind of redundant. As long as it just stays maybe flurrying, in fact, if it clears up, I'm gonna be a happy man. That would be freaking fantastic. But I should be so damn lucky. I am very cautious right now. Always looking around me. Demon dogs freaking everywhere with their bullshit demon dog prowess and power. Okay, there's the little sign. So that should mean that we are getting... Oh, shit. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. This is not looking good. The... the... oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Well, we are now out in the middle of a freaking blizzard. Right out in the middle of it. Negative 42 degrees right now. Oh, Jesus. I don't even know how I want to deal with this. Okay. We're going to try and utilize this stuff for wind protection. Uh, it's giving us a little bit of wind protection. Man, I don't even know if I can start a fire inside of the, inside of the derailment. If we can keep following these tracks, we'll get to the derailment. And, man, the camp office is at least a five-minute trek ahead of us. All right, guys, thank God we have these train tracks, though. We're going to follow them. We are going to freeze to death. We are out in a blizzard, a full-force, negative 46 degrees Celsius blizzard. And there is no place for us to take shelter right now. This is as bad as it gets right here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just keep pushing through. Like I said, maybe if I can get to the derailment, I can make a fire underneath... Holy shit, I can't even see. I can make a fire underneath one of the... Can I sprint? No, I can't. A fire underneath one of the train cars, and maybe we can utilize that for some heat. But honestly... I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I think we're probably going to have to just push straight through. God, where are the train cars at, man? Come on. Oh, I can barely see ahead of me right now. This is this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. It looked it looked like it cleared up for a second there. It still says darkness out. Every once in a while it'll say daylight even though it's dark all the time. Oh my god, 76% of our condition Hypothermia is probably going to be coming on very, very quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. I see some of the train cars. I don't even care if there's anything on the ground. We got to figure out if we can... There's a dead guy right there. Um, I'll get him when I come back. 
We need to see if we can build a fire inside of this train car. And I haven't tried in a long, long time, so I don't know if this is possible or not. Oh my God. Oh, let me inside. Okay. All right, we are inside. No, we cannot build a fire in here. Can't build a fire on a wood surface. Okay, let me think about this for a second. Okay, as far as we went, we have to go that far again to get to the camp office roughly, if I remember correctly. If we go past this, eventually we should see a clearing to our, oh my God, I can barely see where the tracks continue. To our left hand side, not the first clearing, but the second clearing should be the camp office. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This has gone awful. Ah, oh, 70% right into the, right into the wind. But I'm gonna push on through, guys. We're gonna try and get there. I'm gonna walk a little bit away from the train tracks just so I can see these clearings a little bit. Oh my God. Okay, that's not where we need to go. 69% now. Our hypothermia is probably definitely coming on very quickly. In fact, uh, I may put my body against these rocks. All right, negative 25 degrees when I'm against these rocks. That's substantially better than what we're dealing with with the blizzard. Better than negative 46 or whatever that BS is. Come on, baby. Oh, let me get, let me get there. Okay. Now here's a clearing. Now I don't think... Oh, I can't see. I can't see at all. I can't see at all. I don't think that this is the clearing that we want. But I don't know because I can't see. I'm gonna walk a little bit just to check. No, this is definitely not it. Oh my God, 64% condition. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, I can still see the train tracks just barely ahead of us. <laughs> oh my God. That should be the train tracks right there. 63% condition. Okay. The next chunk of clearing up here should be the camp office. Oh, I hope I can hear the flaps flapping around or something just to let me know that it's there. Anything. Please, camp office. Please, gods of the long dark. Please be there for me. I need you now. Okay. I think after this hillock, there should be the secondary clearing. Oh, man. Wind is killing me. It's slowing down our progress. I can't hear anything. 60% condition right now. Okay. All right, this is it, man. It's do or die. We've got to get there. I feel like I've seen these trees based before. Oh, who am I kidding? Uh, oh, this is so bad right now. This is so damn bad right now. I don't know, man. I don't know, I just... I can't see good enough in this storm. 57%. We cannot afford to get hypothermia. Oh, God. All right. I think maybe we went past it. I don't know. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we're just walking so slowly. I think I went past it. Hold on. Hypothermia, 72%. Shit. 
We need to be able to get inside. We need to be able to get inside. We probably have another five minutes. Not even that. We probably have another... Oh, wow. We walked all the way to the other side. Because this right here is the collapsed tunnel. Okay, whatever. We're going to use this. We're going to use this to make a fire. Oh, we just got to get into it. There it is. There's the tunnel collapse. This is fine, though. The tunnel collapse is going to give us a little bit of space to be able to make a fire. It's going to give us some wind chill resistance, too. But the problem is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the temperature up high enough. Okay. Simple tools. What am I going to do with those? All right. We're way back in here. Let's start this fire right now. I'm going to use a book. I don't even care about using the torch right now. Let's just use a book and get this. We're going to throw every piece of wood we have on this. Every single on piece of fire. wood. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get the temperature up enough. We don't have any coal or anything. And we need to get the temperature up 25 degrees Celsius. I mean, I've got a lot of reclaimed wood on me, but I don't... Oh my Damn. god. I don't care. I'll use another match. I know. Use the torch. I'm a little frazzled right now. I just want to get this done. Plus the matches, I think, give us a better potential than the torch. I think that the torch is... It gives us a little less potential to get this, this fire up. Oh. Come on, man. Just start for me. Just start for me. That's all I want. You son of a bitch fire, please. Please, you beautiful bastard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. All the wood. All the wood, all the sticks. Ten hours of fire. What kind of heat output can we get? 95% hypothermia risk right now. Okay. We're good. We're above the hypothermia. Oh, thank God. 11 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm gonna... Let's cook up this pork and beans. And we're gonna eat this. Because we're gonna be here for a while, man. I guess I'll read some books or something? Listen to the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the long dark. Oh, how I have a love-hate relationship with you. All right, let's eat these pork and beans. They're nice and hot. We got a little bit of cooking experience for eating that. We'll drink a little bit of this real fast because we are pretty damn thirsty. And, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and start boiling some water. We'll be able to boil plenty of water. Here's freaking two liters of water. We're gonna boil all this. We're gonna purify it. We have those purification tablets. Oh, listen to that music. The long dark is like, oh, Gray, how close I came to killing you with this blizzard. While we're here, let's take a look at our clothing. No doubt our clothing got the shit. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, we found a scarf and I didn't wear it. I had forgotten to wear it last time, so I went ahead and put that on. Wow, our clothes is in really good condition. Quite honestly. All right, well, we have a lot of calories right now. So let's look into learning a little bit about these. Right here, look at this. If we can finish this, we'll do two hours for right now. If we can finish this, we're gonna get another oh, level right of now. fire starting skill. Let's do one more hour, and we should have just enough calories. Oh, it sounds like the storm passed. Okay, let's, um,. Let's grab a cattail stalk. We're gonna learn the last little bit of this book, man. And that should give us level two fire starting. Oh, I wish I would have had that for this. Okay, let's see if we get it. That should get it. Take a look here. Yes! Level two fire starting. And the weather is looking much better. Okay, since we have this here, remember we picked a ton of reishi mushrooms back in that little valley. So I'm going to go ahead and boil a bunch of these reishi mushrooms. That's going to increase our encumbrance again. But I want to make use of this fire. We got eight hours of fire. That reminds me, too. You're going to notice, and I had totally forgotten to let you guys know about this. You're going to notice that the fire is super long-lasting right now. Like, 
we got much more, we got much more, uh, bang for our buck. I'm gonna drink this soda. We got much more bang for our buck for our wood than we normally would get. And that's because during the Halloween special, you get twice as long for all of your fuel. So that's why, that's why we had that. So the normally we would get, what, um, 30 minutes, is it? For each piece of reclaimed wood. We were getting an hour per reclaimed wood. And not only that, normally we would get 10 minutes, I think, for a stick. And we were getting 20 minutes. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, we have... Oh, one more rose hips. Oh, I forgot to let you guys know, too. I did this off camera. I feel like a jerk for not showing you. Uh, we managed to find some rose hips right by those trailers that I was in, but I picked them up off camera. They were right by the, they were right by the burn down area. Okay, so I'm gonna boil two more liters of snow because we have just a ton of snow or a ton of fire. There's no reason not to use this. 21 degrees Celsius right by this fire. And then we're gonna go ahead and drink and we're gonna see if we can get up out of here. Hopefully we don't have another blizzard that rolls in in the meantime. Okay, grab a swig. We got eh, about three kilograms of water left. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab a brand and GTFO, man. Couple hours of air quotes darkness left. I want to get to the camp office. I just want to get to civilization. Been away for so long. Man, we got some more damn flurries moving in. All right, well, as long... <sighs> As long as I have this much... Hold on. I think that there is a corpse over here. Well... Yeah, let's go take a look. I don't mind sprinting a little bit. We can just barely sprint right now. Because I think that there's items over here. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of items over here. There's a pry bar over here, too. Uh, that's a bunch of weight. But we're going to stay here for a little while in, uh, in Mystery Lake. So we can use this pry bar to bust up all the water. Or not the water. The, uh... Shit, what the hell am I trying to think of? Oh, the ice. The ice when we do ice fishing. You gotta be kidding me. It's not gonna be another blizzard, is it? Can I find something to eat? Okay, good. We don't have any hypo... It is. Another blizzard! No! You gotta be kidding me! You... You've got to be kidding me. We got another blizzard. Un freaking believable. All right. Um All right, man. I'm just going to hang out by our fire for a while and try and wait out the storm. I mean, we're still we're a little bit <laughs> We're pretty fucking tired now cuz I haven't been able to move. But, I'm just gonna eat, I'm gonna hang out by this fire, it's really, really warm, and I'll be back, I'll be back to you guys when we can move. Okay guys, the storm let up. You may be asking yourself, what have I been doing here this whole time? Look at all this water. <laughs> this pack is getting too heavy to carry. I'm gonna grab a bunch of it. We're gonna take a damn brand. And we're gonna try one last time. To make it to the camp office. I pray to God that this weather that I'm looking at right now is not another blizzard moving in. It it looks like it is. It looks right now like another blizzard is getting ready to move in. Why the long dark? Why do you torture me? Just let me get to the camp office. That's all I want. Someone once said if I want if I whine loud enough, I usually get what I want. So I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. We're so beat, man. We're exhausted. We are we're chilled, but we're not like super cold. The brand is still functioning. So the the wind isn't that bad yet. And all I want to do is make it to the point where I can see the fucking camp office. We're doing pretty good, though. No wolves yet, either. Hope I just didn't jinx myself. Oh, maybe 
I think the... I think it's clearing up! Yes! The whining worked! Yes! Oh, hinterlands. You beautiful bastards! Come on, man. Just, just... Find someplace. Let me have it. Let me have my camp office. I'm really hoping to find some cool stuff by the... Okay, what is this? No. 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 It was supposed to be clearing up. You gotta be shitting me. Okay, maybe it's just my imagination. Would almost anything about now? Maybe it just sounds... Maybe it just sounds like the wind is picking up, but it's really not. <laughs> Alright, I'm just looking around me right now, just to see if there's anything, if there's anything crazy going on, wolves or something like that, just kind of hanging out. Oh, the moon. That's really cool. Yes. Okay, this should be, how's our hypothermia? 4%, not a big deal. Not even worried about it. Plus, if we had any chance at cabin fever, man, it is gone now. We have been outside for hours. And hours. All right, so not here, but the... Oh, God. Okay, not here, but the next clearing right here should be the camp office. Okay, this is it. This is it. Please give it to me. Can I run? No, not at all. We are, we are probably, like, weighed down. Oh, wow, I'm thirsty? Hold on. Nine kilograms of water. I'm not going to need water for a while. But I wanted to use all that fire. We had like four, like four hours of fire left, and I tried to use as much of it as I could. Okay, come on, come on, come on. This is it, right? Oh, the death music is playing. Not the death music. Not the death music. Come on, this is where it's supposed to be, right? This is where it's supposed to be. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Oh, yes, so good. I never thought I'd be so happy to see the Canadian flag. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We made it. Negative 22 degrees Celsius. We're drained. We're starving. We're freezing. But we did it. We found the camp office. Oh, now. Now the weather's fine. Look, now it's just flurries. No wind at all. What a bunch of bullshit. Okay. Oh, we did it. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Let's do some... Let's look around real fast. Well, here, real quick while we're here. I'm going to eat one quick cattail stalk just so that we're not losing more condition. This brand is still working for us. All right. They got a chair. Oh, hold on. Let's drop a bunch of our crap. I want to get a bunch of this, drop, this stuff dropped down anyway. Um, we're going to drop... Drop all of it, and I'll pick up a little bit in a minute. And wood-wise, we'll drop, like, four pieces of that. We can keep some of our sticks. There we go. We're, we're now down to 34, so it's a little bit better. Let's see what we got over here. What is this? What is this? Guys, look. Oh, man. A pumpkin pie. Yes. That's so cool. We got a pumpkin pie. What does it do? It's hot. 2,000 calories. Holy shit. Half of a kilogram? Uh, I'm gonna leave that there for right now. That's really cool, though. Ah, oh, we lost our brand. Um, alright, let's drop this down. Let's go ahead and get our lantern on. Still have some fuel for the lantern. Alright, let's see if there's anything cool in here. Let's, uh, let's check around. We're gonna start from this side, and we'll work our way around. So, oh, hey. I see, is that two cans? Oh, no, herbal tea. Nice! Alright, man. Summit soda and an herbal tea. That's a good start. That is a good start, man. And we've got that, uh, that little pie over there. 2,000 calories on the pie. And, oh, oh, there's more. I forgot to tell you guys, too. I don't think I showed you. Someone had mentioned this. The, uh, the chocolate bar that you get when you're playing the special, the Halloween special. Look at that, 2,500 calories. I can't remember if I mentioned that to you guys yet. But that is so cool. 2,500 calories for that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. If we maybe find, like, a bunch of books. Oh, whetstone and a wilderness kitchen. Hey. I was going to say, if we find a bunch of books, maybe I'll eat it, stand next to a fire for a long time, and we can get a bunch of book reading in. But we've already read our fire book now. Hey, a hook. All right. Take that. 
I don't mind no hooks. We got a bunch of our fire reading in, so we don't need that anymore. Um, at this point, we've searched everything over here. Let's check out upstairs. Now, sometimes there's a dead guy upstairs. So, I don't know if we can be so lucky to, uh, to get a dead guy. What do we got up here? A couple of shelves. All right, not, nothing too amazing. Uh, oh! Oh! Right when I said nothing too amazing. Oh! Oh! The bedroll. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, epic loot, guys! I know I just sounded like I orgasmed. Eh, decent sneakers. I guess I'll break those down for leather. But you don't understand. If you weren't here for the other playthrough of the interloper, I had never gotten a bedroll, and I complained about it forever. Decent jeans as well. I complained about it forever, and I never got one. Come on, give me a fire striker too. Might as well, right? No, no fire. I can't be that lucky. But I had never gotten a bedroll, and now we have a bedroll. That is so cool. Oh, we found everything that we want in here. We have a lantern. We've got a bedroll. Hold on real quick while we have this bedroll, because I don't want to forget. You don't want your bedroll to wear down at all. Let me sort by weight as well. Uh, cause look at this bedroll. This bedroll has the shit kicked out of it. Can I repair this? Now, it, it says daylight, but it's like dark all the time. Let me see if I can repair this. Um, no. Huh, I never thought I'd be But, oh! But it does, it does let you repair it. Hold on. We just, I think we only have a 50% possibility to repair it. That's the problem. There we go! Yes, 54%. Hold on, one more time. Let's see if we can get this thing at 100. We're really, really drained too. I gotta go to sleep. But I want to get this thing. Okay, 84%. I'll take it. Nice. Bedroll, 84%. It's pretty light outside. Let's, um, we're not going to need this for right now because we're going to do a lot of exploring right around the camp office. I'm going to drop this. We don't need two pry bars. Let's keep, let's keep this pry bar on us. Um, what else? I can drop one of these. We don't need both of them. We don't need this anymore. I can drop well, both of these. Well, no, I can't really drop both of those because if I want to if I want to use one of them to make um to do the uh well you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> do you? You know what I mean. When I when we do the fire. So oh, can I get it? Hold on. Hold on. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna take this one. So alright, I'm gonna do the rest of the inventory management off camera, but we did it, man. We got into the camp office, and we found a ton of loot. We got a pie over here that we can eat if we want. It's hot, like, constantly, it looks like. We got a bedroll. We got some more food, a couple summit sodas. Man, I'm so happy about this. Guys, hope you're enjoying the long, dark, and the interloper mode. Four days of night. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.